Nice to meet you, Daniel. Daniel. Mwah. Nice to meet you. We've made it, thank God. Yes, we are. Hello. Hi. Very exciting. Can we send event? Okay, lang. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, can you say hello? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Paul. Cora, I'll sign for you. Yeah, just Cora. So, um, yeah, check out some B-roll. Yum, 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 yum. You found us. Oh, jeez, the sound wasn't on. Oh, too bad. We're just gonna go have a coffee, Will. Bye bye. Let's have a coffee. Let's wait for the start. You guys are running off without me. Okay. Salamat po kayo. Thank you. Thank you, guys. My bag on Kai Begins from Starbucks. Okay, let's go. Okay. Alyssa got here before us, even though we just Ninja. left. Ninja. And we just found her Ninja. here. And we must have went the long way. But in offer nya kame nang isang ride for Punta. To Makati, Av. Ayala Av. Ayala Av. Hey, Ayala Av. We'll be there in five minutes. Tara na tayo. Wait, I. Ooh. Eee. Yon. Yon. Ah. Oh, now I know the famous MJ. I just met him. He always does the drawbacks. <laughs> uh. I'm so tired. Really tired. Just uh, finished today and yesterday. We were out with Will. Uh, with what was it? Wasn't it Sam? We we're out with Sam, and now we're with Will. Hello, everybody. And we are now back in Will's apartment, and we are with the Mr. Wonderful, the amazing Miss Carlene Waddell. Come on, kang day mo, car. Cora. Ganda ng araw ko today. Uy, nako. Go on to our mga activities now, eh. Magaling, eh. Chong. How are you? How you doing, brother? Always early now, man. Literally and figuratively. Look at those arms, man. You've been working out. Look at those arms. Look at those veiny arms. The chonga arms. Woo. Sexy. Okay, so um yeah, I just got back from an exciting day with the sushi at the sushi place. What's the place called? Uh, well, sushi nori. Sushi nori. Sushi nori. Sushi nori, and this that is on the fourth floor of Mega Mall. Fifth floor. The fifth floor of Mega Mall. Pardon me. Check it out. So check it out if ever you're in the area. Um, oh, it's sushi. definitely awesome, and uh, yeah, they're really. It's just a great place. Basta. We're gonna chill out for a bit, and I guess. Q and A with Cora. We're gonna do a Q and A with Cora. You can find that on my channel. Wow, shameless plug. The future of social activity. 
How do you spell among them? People under phones. See, whenever you see Will with all his energy and his hosting, this is really what he's like behind the scenes. He's just on his phone. It's not true. Um, <laughs> I respond to all my viewers. That's why I respond more than anyone. And so I spend way too much time on social media. But I it's know. For, you guys, for you guys and you guys if you guys follow. He actually only reacts to the world via his camera. In real life, he's just on his phone. Um, yeah, today, basically recap the day, got on a, no, met Will, it was rolling, he randomly called rolling. me yesterday. I'm gonna post this and then check it. And then he randomly, it he randomly yeah. called me yesterday and just said, Daniel, what are you doing? You wanna go out no, tomorrow? Just do the app, so I said, okay, I may as well do it if I wanna shoot with Will. It'll come up, Sushi Nori. The minute I get to his house, we're on a rush, rush mode the entire time. He's always rushing me, every time. I was sweating like a m crazy, I was sweating like a pig basically in the, the Jeepney and we finally get to the sushi place and we finally get back and it's just been a non-stop hectic roller coaster ride with Will today. Okay. So I think today was the most intense everyone to vlog ever. How was, your, how was your day court today? How was the experience? Today was fun. I honestly, I didn't know what to expect from today because it was just casual. He said, um, just be ready for this. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna have sushi, we're gonna do some Q and A's. So that's what I was ready for. But honestly, I was so pleasantly surprised what these two guys had in store for me today, I got my money's worth. Let's put it that oh, way. Oh, awesome, awesome! And it's really good to meet again each other, or meet each other again, again. because it's been so long, Diva. Years, actually. Yeah, I, I actually met her in like, 2011. Yep, when that I first came to the country, wild, dude. and we were all struggling models, you know, trying to starving what artists we're do with our life. Yeah, yeah, we were just we were happy go lucky at the time. It was pretty cool. We were very happy, very poor, very broke, but we were happy. We were loving this country so much, traveling and partying and just having fun. Not a kid. It was great. World. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you've been in the Philippines for what? Like it's my sixth year now. Sixth year. Wow. It shows that time flies, no? So fast. Yeah. Extremely. And you plan to stay here for, for good or? Um, stick into the Philippines. I, I had planned to go to the States, but I can't leave here. Yeah. I love it here for some reason. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, <sighs> we all come from Western countries and it's very efficient and it's organized and stuff. But because we grew up there and we have the opportunity here, it's just, there's just something about this country that keeps us here, you know? It's the, it's the happy people. It's the That's happy people. It. Yeah, and I also mentioned in my TFC uh, interview a long time ago that, um, I mean, being in the Philippines, we've had a, an opportunity here that we wouldn't necessarily have back home in, 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 in the States or in Europe. And again, it's not a entitlement when we're here in the Philippines that people find us exotic or that we get a lot more opportunities because of the way we look. and because of that interest in us. Um, it's a privilege for us to be here and be treated in a certain way and be put on this, this pedestal, so to speak, and have this opportunity to do modeling, to do showbiz, to do vlogging, and, and still get an interest in an audience. And it's our job to utilize that privilege and share and use that pedestal wisely, you know? So, oh, yeah. yeah. I feel um, Grateful, you know, like in America, I worked a regular job. I mopped floors, I did dishes, uh, cashiering, whatever, you know, whatever you can do for your first few jobs. But I think having come as the most ordinary of ordinaries, you know, just an average girl coming here, you're so lucky. You're like, what? Someone wants to let me be a model? Someone wants to hire me? Yeah, you're what? shocked initially, right? All like, right. Me? That's Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, no, I'll do it. I remember when the guy came here, I was eating dinner at a mall. The guy came up to me, he's like, I think you'd be a commercial model. Like, you got to I, like, I, I, I was so happy. That's a big day. I was just like, let's go. Somebody scouted you. Yeah. There's a whole show about that now. Yeah, dude, like, that's that's amazing. You got a good one. But I had to grow up living with my sister. So like just standing next to her makes you look hideous. So like, <laughs> You know Filipinos, like growing up, all my family, they were like, Oh, that's terrible, Chris. My whole life growing up, they always told me I was ugly. I look better now than I did when I was a kid, but... Yeah, I think that's just the same with me, actually, you know? Um, I don't know, I mean, being half also in Europe, I was like, everyone sees me as, as white, but I mean, if, you, if you're in Ireland, you know I'm kind of not, not Irish fully either. I mean, <laughs> being in Ireland, I was kind of like, not picked on, but... You're different. I, I was different, and it, it was it was an identity situation when you're young. I get, I don't know if you guys experience the same thing. Oh yeah, it's but it's it's you know, I'll, I mean it's interesting because in Ireland I never felt quite accepted as Irish fully, 
Um, in the Philippines, of course, you're not quite accepted as Filipino, so you're I'm a kind of an in-between international individual. So, yeah, you see things from a very different perspective. It's one thing I learned is never judge. Someone might look one way or act one way, but the second you judge them is the second you've opened yourself up for judgment. So if you don't ever want someone to treat you differently because of the way you look or judge you too soon, the first step would be me. Don't judge, like, I would never guess he knows how to speak Bisaya. Oh, I would never, Bisaya. <laughs> you would never know that. You would never know what background someone came from. So I think the greatest road to happiness is less judgment. So yeah, Cor, it was awesome to have you. Oh, it was a pleasure. Vlog, and pleasure. it's good to see you again. Sorry, I'm holding this car. Sorry. <laughs> how are you feeling, Will? Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. So guys, until next time, mahal ko kayo. Wow, you didn't say mahal kita. Yeah.